Hey YouTube, Arizona Gardener here. I am doing a different kind of video today. This is a video on my everyday carry. Um, this is one of the uh, items along my prepping line and uh, things that I do. So before we get started, let me see if I can just do a safety check so everyone knows we're good. As you can see, no magazine. It's empty. So both magazines are down on the ground. This is a Smith & Wesson m and in 40 cal. So that is my um, everyday carry. While I um, am restricted from carrying in the building where I work, um, our laws here in Arizona allow us to at least carry it in my vehicle um, secured. So that's what I do. I've uh, just finished my um, concealed carry course. So I should have that here hopefully in the next um, couple weeks, maybe uh, three to six weeks, I should have my license. So uh, some of the other things that I have, um, this looks like quite a bit, but uh, I'll show you the system I carry it in. Here is my, uh, my holster, two magazines. Um, the first one is some spear gold dots, some hollow points. Um, that's the what I'll call my duty ammo. And then this is uh, just some regular copper jacketed slug ammo that I carry as a secondary magazine. I have my uh, uh, CRKT folder. This is the M16 uh, model 14D. So it, it folds up quite nicely. Um, got the, the fast open. That's uh, you know, the pocket clip can go on either end if you want to move it around. That's my knife. Um, and I use that every day, so that's that's a helpful knife. Um, I've got my watch, and then let's see over here, I've got my um, iPod for music and whatever else I can I can get on it. My uh, smartphone, a pen, my wallet, um, some Badger healing balm. This stuff is great, especially out here in the desert where it's uh, it gets really dry and um, uh, I'm not into lotions and all that other crap, but this stuff works. It um, when your hands get really dry and they really crack and split and they hurt. Um, this kind of works. Next, I've got two different jump drives that I carry with me. Um, one is one gig, the other one's a two gig. I keep a lot of important files and information comes in handy. Um, some dental floss, um, which also has some other uses other than for your teeth. Um, so I keep that. Um, just some lip balm. Uh, sewing kit. This has got several different um, several different scissors in it, threads, buttons, lots of different colored threads. Um, kind of works if you screw up a shirt or a pair of pants. Um, and I have another couple of uh, um, pre-threaded needles uh, with thread. Um, I got these from some different uh, hotels. This one is from Delamar. Uh, actually, I think a friend of mine gave me this one, and um, this one I got from one of my trips. And you can see I've already kind of I've already used two to fix some some buttons that have come undone on me. It's got some safety pins, some extra buttons, kind of good to have. Next is my uh, Maglite XL50. Um, again, I use this every day. It's got three settings: strong. There, I have 25% power, and then hold on takes a little bit getting used to it. It's got a strobing feature. There it is. So for like an emergency light so people can see where I'm at. So it uses uh, small batteries. Fits in the side palm of my hand, back pocket. Great great to have. Um, a mirror you can use for signaling and it uh, folds up flat. Um, you end up getting injured. You're getting stuff in your face and your eye. You can kind of see what you're doing. Um, I also have a Ziploc bag, it can, a few different, oops, few, few different things in it, some, some sugars, some um, uh, emergency, um, which is good to replace some electrolytes, some different kinds of herbal teas, um, so at least I've got something to, to drink, I use that every day. That works, obviously a pen, um, in, in the carry system that I have, I actually have some, some paper. Um, that I kind of keep in there, but this is this is my everyday carry. Um, with excluding the pistol in the building, everything else fits into um, my rucksack. And what I'm currently using 
just put this on top is the uh, 511 um, 24 series 24 7 series it works really 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 well um, it's got spot for two zipper compartments for water bottles that take a one liter bottle each uh, it's got all kinds of compartments and storage and stuff for pens uh, all kinds of compartments I keep everything in here so on top of this I do carry two um, one liter bottles one is this is just a the Contigo um, like a no leak system and then in the event that I'm someplace that uh, I can't get good water readily accessible um, I have this uh, filtered system from uh, Berkey water systems and it's got the uh, pop-up straw it's got the built-in filter it'll filter out some of the crappiest water you can possibly imagine there's some cool videos if you check out Such um, zero zero he's got uh, some videos about this this water bottle really good that's one of the reasons why I bought it good recommendation um, so as you can see in the pouch they just kind of zip right up you can't even see them um, I keep some first aid supplies in here not a whole lot it's got all kinds of different compartments um, I, I usually do tend to keep a secondary um, knife system this is a, just a small um, inexpensive one this is a magnum it's a division of Boker. It's a auto knife, uh, 420 stainless steel. It's good for just uh, average cutting. It's nothing fancy, but in the event that you need a knife, um, you have a knife. The only other item here that uh, I don't see, but it is part of my everyday carry, and I was actually out shooting yesterday, and I took it out because I was using it. it is a Leatherman. This is the, uh, let's see if you can see that, the Leatherman Wave. It's got the pliers, wire cutters, um, some basics, standard knife. On the other side, a file, two different size file, serrated knife, wood saw. Um, inside, it's got some. A big flat screwdriver, a micro screwdriver, um, also a micro Phillips. You can see that little bit, it comes out of this special little adapter. And it also has a very sharp pair of scissors. Let's see if I can move you guys over so you can see that. There we go. So that side is a uh, it's got some pretty useful stuff in it. I tend to use this quite a bit. On the other side, you've got another screwdriver that you can take the bit out and it's slotted on one side and a Phillips on the other. A little bit bigger Phillips, like a number two Phillips. Um, and also in this mix is a can opener, bottle opener. Oh, nothing else in that. Uh, has a ruler on it, so if you can see this, it's in inches. There's three inches from here to here, to the end, and then uh, all the way through. So it goes down to like seven and a half inches. So it's a really good tool. It's what I uh, add to my everyday carry bag. Like I said I was out at the range yesterday doing some qualifications, so the uh, Leatherman was uh, out. I was actually using it to adjust my AR. Uh, I'll do another video of that another time. I have um, an AR that I'll, I'll do that I've uh, I put together myself. And then I also have a um, shotgun, Remington shotgun that I use for hunting and uh, can be used for home defense. So that's, uh, that's it. That's my everyday carry. Um, it all goes in, my, uh, in the 511 bag up there. I bring that to every day. Um, when I'm outside of work, I do, I do wear the holster. Um, with the uh, with the pistol, that's um, that's a given. Um, out here in Arizona, we're allowed open carry as well as concealed carry without a permit. But um, there's some advantages to having the concealed weapons permit itself, as far as the reciprocity. Uh, I can use I can carry in other states. Um, 
you don't have to show your ID when buying firearms. You don't, you don't need a background check, rather, when buying new firearms. Um, there's lots of good good advantages to that. So that's my everyday carry. Uh, this uh, last one here is just a cool case for my headphones. Um, came with it, but it's uh, listening to music or news. I have my my uh, survival podcast. Shout out to survival po Jack over at Survival Podcast. He's a really great guy. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. He's got some great information. I think you'd uh, you'd like him a lot. And that's uh, Survival Podcast, uh, the Survival Podcast dot com. Um, so good shout out for Jack. He also has a YouTube video. Um, you can check out his stuff. Just type in Survival Podcast. His stuff should come up. Or he's a uh, he's in my friends list. You can you can see him there. I'll see if I can post um, a link to his to his site. But this is my everyday carry. This is what I have, this is what I carry, it's useful. Um, I've used many of these items many times a week. Um, it does fluctuate a little bit, but this is pretty much my core components. Um, I carry a few other things, odds and ends, but not necessarily um, survival. Basically it could be, I have a Kindle, I have an iPad, a few odds and ends that I put in there. But um, sunscreen, if necessary, in, this, in the summer months if I'm gonna be outdoors a lot. So that's my everyday carry and um, I'll see you next time.